guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make neons faster in Dummy. So this is a very requested video that you guys keep asking me to do. So um, I am going to be doing that today. So let's get into it. Um, so my first tip is grind with an alt. Like, make an alt towel and grind with it. Because, so if I wanted to grind on my fallow deers, which I am making mega of, if I wanted to grind on those, I could give, let's say this one was not luminous, I could give this one to my alt account. So I would um, join on my alt account. In fact, I'll join on, on an alt right now. So um, I'll explain it while I'm doing that. So I have this validity right here. So I would give it to my alt account and then like, or I would give one of them to my alt account and then make my alt account baby and carry around my alt account. So I'm joining on my alt account. Um, let's think. Okay, um. By the way, guys, the person that just joined me, this is my friend Meadow, and she, um, wants me to decorate her house, so I'm just gonna explain that to her. So, um, I'm on, I'm logged in on my alt account, and I am joining. Okay, so, Sub to Waffles Friday, that's my all, and Meadow just joined me, and she probably wants me to decorate her house. So, my phone is about to die. It's actually at 1%, so I'm not really going to be able to demonstrate this for you. But, um... See, I would turn my alt account into a baby, and I'm probably... My phone's probably about to die, so... Um, then I would... Uh, invite myself to my family. And Meadow just disconnected, so... Uh, okay, so I'm going to invite myself to my family, and then I would right on my back like this and then I would have a pet equipped and now I can do my baby's tasks and both the pet's tasks while I'm grinding so it's really easy so um that's the first tip and I'm just gonna go ahead and leave on my alt account um so that's my first tip and if you guys understood so like you just um So I would like join on my, um, yeah, so I would join on my alt and then I would give it one of the fallow deers and then equip it and then have my alt right on my main accounts back and then I would like equip both the pets and then I could grind both of them. But a thing is, whenever you, um, whenever you have like two of the same pet and you try and put them in for a task, um, it's really confusing because, like, it will say fallow deer and fallow deer because, or, I mean, it won't say that, but, like, it will say the same pet, and, um, so it's kind of confusing because, like, sorry, I'm just explaining this to me. Um, it, it would be really confusing because, like, you have to decide which one to place and then you'll place the wrong one. It's really confusing. So that's my first tip. And my second tip is, um, watch a movie while grinding. It doesn't actually have to be a movie. It can be, like, any, um, YouTube video. But, like, it's actually really fun to, like, watch movies while you're waiting. So, I am actually a really big fan of Adorb Sex Nat. And if you go onto her YouTube channel, um, you will see I comment on a lot of her shorts. But, um, I'm a really big fan of her. So, wh while I'm grinding, I like to watch her speed build videos. Which, that's actually what I'm doing in my Igloo house right now. Um, I'm watching a speed build from her and decorating mine like hers. So, um, that's, like, a really helpful tip because it helps me a lot because... So, the main rush time is, like, it's go sleep, shower, um, and then, like, school or playground or whatever. And sometimes you get, like, food and water and sometimes you get camping and sometimes you get hospital. So, like, that's what I call, like, the rush hour. I mean, it's not really an hour, but, um, so that's a tip, because, like, after that, throughout the day, it's just, like, hunger and thirst task. So, my next task is milestones. So, um, let's say, see here. I'm making a mega blue bottle fly. So, what I do is, if you look, I have a lot of post-teen blue bottle flies and juniors. So I have seven juniors. And that was because what I do is I age up all my pets to a certain age. So, like, I age them all up to junior. Then I age them up to um, post-teen. And then I age them up to full-grown. 
so I also have a few postines. Um, like this one is postine and this one is postine, and then I edge them up to full grown. So, and I have a neon one. But uh, that's like a really good tip because like milestones help a lot, even if they don't seem like it, they really help a lot. So another thing is name your um, pets. And sorry, I'm gonna do my task really quick. And yeah, whenever I'm editing my houses, I just like add random things. If you watch my last video, I did speak grinding and you could see that I just like randomly added a bath whenever it was time for the bath task because there's no like free baths anywhere. So um, another tip is name your pets because so like if you name your pets one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. It's really easy to identify them. So I don't know if I have. Yeah, I have a lot of my pets named. Like, look, I have 1 out of 16, 1 out of 16, 1 out of 16, 6, and 4 out of 16. So, um, naming your pets really helps whenever you're, like, trying to find the pet. Like, sometimes what I will do is, oh, uh, so resetting your character, like, down here, resetting your character is a really easy way to get to your house. Because, like, also the magic house door, but, um, which I do have, I think. Let me see. Yeah, so I have the magic house door, and basically, you spawn it, and then you teleport to your house, and it will teleport you, see? And then resetting your character is also a good way, so, um, but, like, sometimes whenever I reset my character, I'm kind of getting off track. Sometimes when I reset my character, oh my goodness, I keep trying to, like, delete it. I, um, I instantly leave the game, so, like, it's really, um, handy. It really comes in handy to know what pet I was grinding on. My fifth tip is teleportation. So, that's basically nowhere to teleport for what tasks. So, for example, right now I have the pool party task, and I could navigate there, but that's kind of annoying to walk all the way there. So, what I do is I teleport to a certain place. So, for the pool party task, I always teleport to the supermarket. Because this is the one that's closest to um, that task. So whenever you have the camping task, you also should teleport to the supermarket because that's like really close to the campsite. Whenever you have the pizza party task, you should have um, you should teleport to the toy shop or the vehicle shop because they're back and back. Whenever you have the salon task, you should also teleport to the toy shop or the vehicle shop because like they're really close to each other. And whenever you have the let's think here. What other tasks are there? The playground task. So for the playground task, you can um, have a piano in your house, but you can also teleport to the uh, baby shop, and that's that's really close. Like if you can see, um, like look, they're really close to each other. And so those are where to teleport for tasks. If you have the school task, you should teleport to the nursery, obviously. And also with the hospital task, you should teleport to the nursery. So um, that's teleportation. And like I said earlier, whenever I teleport to my house, I always um, I always use my magic house door, which kind of takes a bit, or I use my or I reset my character. So the sixth tip is a grinding house. So I don't have a grinding house right now. What the heck? I just gave you water. Sorry. Um, I don't have a grinding house right now, but I did have like, so for grinding houses, they can be like any house, like any house works. So for my house, I could make it a grinding house, which I am go, it will be a grinding house eventually. But right now it's not because like, as I said, it's like a work in progress. But, um, it will be a grinding house. And so, um, it doesn't really have to be fancy. All you need is, so, the first thing you need is baths. So, you can either use the cheap bathtub. Which is... Oh. Um, oh, I can't find it. Bath. So, if you just search bath, the cheap bathtub is one. But you can also use the shower, and that works as well. Um, the stylish shower which is cute, and it's, like, only $13. So that's really easy. And then for the beds, I recommend a crib um, because that works for babies and pets. The pet beds also work for pets and babies, but they're, like, both $100 or something. And then for the uh, food and water, I do not recommend buying, like, a food and water bowl because, like, 
I think if you get a food and a water bowl, that's like the modern set. And this one is 230, but I'm pretty sure the modern one is like 120 or something. I don't know, 170. So if you go, if you and you search feeder, um, this like feeder is just like $99, so it's easy. Um, so that's all you need for your grinding house, and then it's optional, but you can also get a piano, and that does the playground task for you. My, um, sixth tip, or no, my seventh tip is use cure-all potions. So whenever, how to get cure-all potions is you can either use a box lure, which, box lures, I don't know how much longer they're going to be out. Uh, they may be out forever, but I don't really know. So whenever you buy a box lure, uh, I'm just going to buy one, but I'll probably delete it after because I'll buy one later. So whenever you first buy a box lure, you get a reward. So you place bait, and you may have ash zebra baits or flaming zebra baits from like the uh, very first Halloween thing, but you just place a campfire cookie, and in four hours it will give it to you. So now I'm going to delete it, but it can you can get like a lot of different things from it. So um, you can get like... You can get like pets, you can get toys, you can get petware, you can get all sorts of things. And um and it's really easy to get, and then Aja Potions is one of them. You can also get pets, and the blazing lion is worth a lot. It's probably only worth like a maybe like a crow or a parrot or something right now, but like that's awesome. Like that's still awesome. For a little bit it was the rarest one in the game, but not really anymore. Okay, so my eighth tip is two times weekends. So two times weekends happen around once a month, I think. And so basically what it is, is your pet ages up two times faster. So like, if I did one of my pet's tasks, it would probably age like right up to the P. But on two times weekends, it would age up twice that much. And I would get twice the bucks. So if I would get, say, 10 bucks for doing the bath, I think I get 12 bucks for the shower task. So if I, while I would get 12 bucks on two times weekend, I would get 24 and that's like really good when you're making bucks. So like try not to miss out on those. The ninth tip is pet raisers. So, um, pet raisers are like really risky. I actually do have a pet raiser, but I know her like in real life. So, um, I know I can trust her because, like, we're really close and I don't think she would scam me. So, basically, um, you give your pet raisers, like, a pet that they want to age up. Like, my pet raiser has a lot of my raccoons right now. And then you give them pets for payment. Like, payment because they're taking their time to age up your pets. So, um, I, like... As I said, I have a pet raiser, and my pet raiser is Super Brownie 47. That's why she's in a lot of my videos. Um, but, like, they're really risky because they can easily scam you, and I've been scammed by pet raisers before. So, um, it's, like, really risky. So, my last tip is trade for better-aged pets. So, if I wanted a full-grown bo blue bottle fly... Since blue bottle flies are common, I wouldn't have to trade too much for, like, a full-grown one. But I could trade, like, say, my preteen one and, like, a couple of ads for a full-grown one. Now, in my How to Get Rich video, I'm not really sure if I put this as a tip. But this is actually a tip to get rich because, like, you can trade your really aged pets for that pet and then some ads. But, like, whenever you're making neons, that's what you should... That's, like a really good tip because a lot of people have like a full grown blue bottle fly because like blue bottle flies say aren't that common but whenever I make it mega let's see what it looks like it's like really cute see so um it's really worth it to trade for like a full grown pet so those are all my tips and um I hope I explained those really well and I hope that helped you guys um I got a lot of my tips from, like, different YouTubers. I can't really think of all of them. But um, I also made up some of my tips, and I think those are all really good tips um, on how to age up your pets faster and make neons faster because um, I haven't made that many megas, but, like, the, these tips help a lot whenever I'm making megas. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!